Many people think that capitalism and imperialism are the same thing, or at the very least that they're very closely connected. In fact, they're contradictory and opposed systems of economic and political organisation. Because of this confusion, many people blame capitalism and the world trade system for bad things that have happened in the past or in the present, the exploitation of poor people, mass famines and the like, when in fact it's imperialism and empire that should get the blame. So what are these two different systems? Capitalism is a system of the free exchange of goods and services between individuals on a voluntary basis under the rule of law and in a system of private property rights. In other words, it's a system of voluntary exchange in which all parties to the exchange are better off. Now, imperialism, by contrast, is a system of relations based upon power. Essentially, it's a system in which certain groups of privileged people in one part of the world are able to extract unearned income from people in other parts of the world through the use of exploitative power relations, usually with the help of local collaborators. The key to this is the use of political power, ultimately military power, to establish economic relations which are involuntary and exploitative. Empires have existed throughout the whole of human history. In fact, there are so many examples of empires that it's hard to know where to start. So, for example, in the early 17th century, the Dutch Republic created the Dutch East India Company. This was a way in which privileged merchants in the province of Holland in particular were able to gain monopoly rights to trade with the people of what is now Indonesia and were able to use that and the military power of the Dutch Republic to establish exploitative and politically domineering relations over the populations of that part of the world. Later on, the English got in on the act and created their own East India Company, which for over 150 years ruthlessly exploited many of the people of the Indian subcontinent, most notably in Bengal, but elsewhere as well. Once again, you had a politically privileged group of people, backed by the military power of the state, establishing trade relations with people in another part of the world that were not voluntary and which were highly exploitative. More recently, in the Caribbean, the United Fruit Company, backed by the US federal government, was able to establish similarly exploitative relations with people in parts of Central America, such as Honduras and Guatemala. The important thing to realise is that while these were profit-making enterprises, they were not true commercial capitalist businesses in the real sense of the term. The profits that they gained were due not to free competition or voluntary cooperation with willing buyers and sellers, but the use of political power. Had we had a true capitalist system operating here, we would have had lots of free trade between the people in the other part of the world, not only with people from the US or the UK, but also other people from other parts of the world and there would have been a much more voluntary and mutually beneficial relationship. The results of imperialism are generally not very good. Not only does it lead to political corruption and the exploitation of any poor people, but it often has quite catastrophic results, such as the enormous famines which occurred in the late Victorian period in many parts of the world, in the 1890s in particular, most notably in India but also elsewhere, which are often blamed on capitalism, but which in fact were clearly the result of the policies of the British Empire and other colonial powers at the time. So the thing to take away is this. Imperialism is not, and never has been, the highest stage of capitalism. For one thing, empires have existed long before capitalism came into existence. Capitalism and imperialism are not complementary, but contradictory and hostile systems of political, economic and social organisation. Where one of them flourishes, the other has to decline. I hope you really enjoyed this. Click on one of these links here to watch more and learn more. If you want to do more and more than watch videos, then click on these links here to find out about more student opportunities.